How about an equal weight stock portfolio that's up 61% since the beginning of 2023 that has mid-cap and small-cap stocks in it? Would you believe it? Well, you should. I'll show you. Today is June 5th, 2024, and we're here to talk about the changes to bi-weekly swings model portfolio. Let's get right to it. Here you see the six model portfolios that I support on this website. Uh, the number one is Quant Alpha is up 99%, but we're here to talk about bi-weekly swings, which is up 61% since the beginning of 2023. Its benchmark's up 19%. Let's take a look at the spreadsheet. You see here, bi-weekly swings since October has had a very large outperformance in, uh, in relation to its benchmark. And it shows that within the last uh, three months, it's uh, leveled out, gone sideways, as I call it, with the benchmark. Let us go and take a look at the portfolio. Free to pause the video at any time to read the material. I will be going very quickly. Here we are of the uh, bi-weekly swings portfolio. And I want to highlight, I have several uh, outperformers here in the active positions. One is APEI, which is American Public Education, Education and Training Program. Another is BGC, which is BC, BGC Group, Capital Markets. HRTG, which is Heritage Insurance, an insurance company. ORN, which is Oran Group, Engineering Construction. And finally, BIRC, which is Burco Manufacturing Furnishings and Fixtures. Uh, you can see the new transactions here that are added. Uh, they have the date of 6-5. Over here are the transactions that were removed. And over here on the left side is how we calculate the numbers. Here are the new ads. There's four of them. Uh, Campo Secure, Fortuna, Silver Mines, Haynes Brands, and Immersion. And their industries are metal fabrication, gold, apparel manufacturing, and software application. As far as market cap goes, uh, the smallest market cap is Campo Secure, 140, 179 million market cap. The largest is Haynes Brands, 1.9 billion. Fine wise, likewise, Campo Secure, 176,000 shares a day, a $6 stock. Let's take a look at what's in the portfolio now that was retained. There's too many to go through, but here they are listed. As far as sectors go, we have four basic materials, two consumer cyclical, two consumer defensive, and looks like five financial services, one industrial, one real estate, two technology. Market cap wise, they range from 185 million for co manufacturing all the way up to 9.7 billion Kenrose Gold. Volume wise, Verco likewise is the, eight, is the smallest volume, 88 million, $11 stock. A few of them have some dividends, you can see them here uh, that I just sent out. First of all, I want to click on this. Uh, this is the portfolio area. And if you want to uh, read more about by weekly swings and how it's constructed and created and updated, it's all here. Continuing on down the blog post, I just summarize where we're at. Uh, four stocks were removed, four stocks were added, the total of 21 in the portfolio. A little bit about the back test here, and here are the ones that were added which we already went over. And here are the ones that were removed. And here are some of the noteworthy outperformers that we just covered. Here we have my model portfolios shown again with their uh, up-to-date uh, calculation of their outperformance versus their benchmark since the 2023. And in summary, I just want to mention that from October, the end of October to the end of March, the outportfolio had a, a very strong outperformance. Uh, it showed in the spreadsheet that we already saw. Since then, it's been going kind of sideways. This is normal. 
Uh, you'll have periods where the portfolio will outperform and race ahead of the benchmark, uh, periods where it's going to go sideways, more or less matching, and there's also going to be periods where it underperforms, although we haven't seen that lately. Only four positions were changed this update, so the turnover was fairly low. If you would like more information about how I select my model portfolios, please go to my website, Swing Trader Trading, click on Criteria for Stock Selection, and in this area you'll find out what's excluded, the fundamental data used, the equal weighted starting value, the dividends, and back tests. If you'd like to subscribe to my website and get the blog posts in a timely manner, uh, come here to subscribe or contact, type your email, and subscribe. It's free. Hello. Well, I guess that's it for this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Like it, put a notification, and also comment if you feel you need to. Thank you.